Hi, I'm Heath with Titan Machinery. i um, been a service tech here for just about 19 years. Today we're going to be going over the 8240 Combine. So now we'll go over the, the residue and the crop or the residue distribution system of it. So you got your, your bearings back here and your chopper. Um, if you have the black style bearing, that's going to be the light duty. If you have the style like this is, the silver, that's going to be your heavy duty bearing options. You can actually change them over to all this style. They also did drop the grease interval on your chopper bearings from 600 hours down to 100 hours. And what they want is they want two pumps every 100 hours on these new style bearings. Um, they also, there's some bearings in this, pull, this high speed pulley here. Um, so you want to check to make sure you don't have any grinding coming out of your high speed pulley here. Also, if you're doing a lot of corn, once a week, I usually recommend guys actually shift their chopper back into high speed and run it for a little bit in high speed just to let these bearings spin a different RPM so they don't get a memory on them. Um, for your chopper bearings, there's going to be the one on the left side here and then there's actually two of them over on the right side. Um, all three of the bearings are going to be 100 hour grease zerks on them. You also want to be checking your chopper blades themselves to make sure you don't have any blades that are missing or really rounded off. Um, if they start getting rounded off, you can actually flip the blade so you'll take it and flip it over. Um, if they start getting to where they're cut at a pretty good angle here, then you'll have to replace the blades. So if you end up replacing them, you have to do, if you do a set here, 180 degrees off, you have to do another set so that you can keep this rotor in balance. A lot of times what I'll do when I flip them is I'll actually take the outside blades and move them to the middle because the majority of your residue is going to be coming through the middle of your chopper here. So your outside blades are more or less going to be just like new when your inner ones are wore out pretty good. Um, same way with your stationary knives down here. Make sure you don't have any that are missing or knocked out of place. Also look at your chopper pan itself. Um, you got where the, the knife guard, where your stationary knives come up through. Make sure that your knife guard isn't starting to break out to where you're, you're gonna have chunks of steel that'll be flaking out of that chopper pan. Also when you're up in here looking, make sure you don't have a bunch of holes in this tin because right above this is actually your engine oil pan. So if you got a big holes in here and you do take in a rock and one of your chopper knives breaks, this is actually to prevent your, that knife from going up through your oil pan. So if you get a bunch of holes started in here, what can happen is you can actually get that blade to where it could go up and possibly contact your oil pan. So then back here on the spreaders, what you want to look for is on your motors here. Make sure you don't have seals leaking on, on either one of these hydraulic motors. Your spreader paddles themselves, make sure you don't have these that are starting to get broke off down here at the bottom. And then also on your whale's tail here, Make sure your whale's tail isn't starting to crack out. And then what you'll want to do is when you get into where you're combining small grains or beans or something, you'll want to actually have this whale's tail pulled forward towards your spreader paddles. And then the back piece, you'll actually want that lifted up so that you get the most traction on your residue that you can. When you get into corn, you actually will drop that down and take this piece and shove it back. And that's how you'll want to combine corn. If you leave it like this, um, what'll happen is you'll get corn cobs that'll come in here and they'll actually start breaking everything out on this whale's tail.